Hey folks, and welcome back to Civilization VI in the Age of Abundance. We're carrying on exactly where we left off last episode. While I say that, I actually did one turn by mistake, but uh, we've just learnt urbanization, and as always, we're going to be building up our culture, building up our tourism, and seeing how far that can get us. Um, I don't think we want to switch to any of these uh, military academies. I don't think we have any of those. We <laughs> Actually, no, we don't. So we don't have any encampments, or we have one, I think, potentially. See, 50 gold per appeal of tile when replacing a farm with a neighbor district. That doesn't sound like something we're going to be doing anytime soon. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll just not change any of those. I don't know when we actually get our next um, society, where, uh, like uh, government type. When do we get... Uh, oh, here we go. Suffrage. Yeah, like I say, we'll probably go democracy. I think it just makes sense. So we're relatively close to it. I'm just going to click on this so we just learn them in the correct order. Although, what does capitalism give us? Great merchant points. Your international trade routes give plus one gold per luxury as well as plus two culture and plus two science. Oh, that one could be quite good. That one could be quite good. But I think getting to democracy as soon as we can is better because then we get additional uh, envoys. We also get additional cards. So I think the actual bonus from having a democracy is bigger than getting that single bonus. Well, it must be. So that is what we're going to do. And here we get flight in 11 turns, build an industrial era or later wonder. Well, we're not going to do that in 11 turns. And then we don't have any of these corpse. Uh, as, as we've seen, because we start like in the Renaissance and so far in, a lot of these like inspirations are just pretty hard for us to get by the time we're actually learning these. Like having three corpse in your military, we literally would have had to have been going to war, I think, pretty quickly and building up our uh, our army f to do that. And we're not going to do that in this campaign, so um, it just wouldn't make sense. Right, we have finished this. I kind of feel like maybe building one of these wonders, you know. Uh, we get great artist points. This was only 17. It just gives us one population in all current cities and plus one housing in all cities. Now, it only gives us plus two faith, but that additional population is pretty good. Although the Bolshoi is also good. This one we don't, we're not going to do. Mont Saint Michel, I was thinking of building this one, but as we don't have a religion, I don't think we can build apostles, so it's not actually worth us doing. If we had managed to build a religion, or build, you know, learn a religion, found one, that's the word I'm looking for, um, it would have been really good for us to do. But as we didn't, it's basically pointless. So actually, for now, we'll just get the Renaissance walls. We'll build up a little bit more defense. I think we're relatively fine, to be honest. I can't Natural actually imagine anyone's going to attack us now. We found the Galapagos Islands. Lots of crabs around them. Makes sense. And, um, yeah, I don't think anyone's actually going to attack us. Like, I'd be very surprised. But what we can do is build some of these, um, you know, airports and things like that. And then if anyone does, they have to basically, for the most part, come to us via ship. And we could just sink their ships with the, with the plane. So, um, I think we're, I think we can basically not worry about it too much. The Sydney Opera House, I do kind of want to build. Plus a culture. It gives us so much culture and, uh, great musician points per turn. Plus five. We switch this to construction. Does this change this at all? No. It doesn't actually. Even though it does change this, it doesn't actually change it enough. Um, how do you set it to like default? <laughs> there we go. You click on it twice. Um, it doesn't make any difference to it, basically. So we uh, we won't do that. I do kind of want to build some... Um... Oh, if we build a privateer, we can actually... Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't work like that. I thought we could raid other ships, but no. No, we can't do that. With, with this, so... Oh, Archaeologist? Yeah, we definitely want to build one of these. Actually, how much gold have we got? 2,000 gold? How much is a great person? Can we buy any of these? So we could almost buy the, uh, this person here. In, like, seven turns, we could just buy this person. Oh, it's a, an Admiral? Oh, I don't care about that, then. Never mind. Uh, what I will do, though, is... Down here in Pergamon, I'm actually going to buy a... Ooh, buy another trader. What are we at? Seven out of eight? Oh, we are. Okay. Um, can I actually see our trade routes? <laughs> we can. Um, can I see which ones have them? Yeah, this one has one. Epirus. Uh, can you have two out of the same city? I'm not sure. Sure, you know there's only one way to find out, isn't there? <laughs> there's only one way to find out. Let's just buy one and find out. I think you can. It'd be It'd be a bit crazy, to be honest, if you couldn't. So let's do that, because then we can build up our production in there, and that's going to help us a lot as well. Do we want to build another archaeologist? Again, it's just going to give us... Oh, no, no, we want to do the market, yes, because we're 
uh, kind of expanding this um, commercial hub into all three cities. So, yeah, we'll build that up first. I think once Athens is finished, we might just build another... Arch oh, no, there's an archaeology museum there. So, yeah, we have got to mess around with some stuff to kind of fit it in. Uh, no, we don't want to do this. I almost wish you could flag something and just say, don't ever come to me with uh, trade requests on this item. Oh, somebody can get promoted. Oh, our scout. Oh, there's a spy down here in in uh, in Rhodes. Okay, I guess we should get a spy because they're spying on us. What kind of military do they have? Do they do they literally have nothing. I guess we can't see. Oh well, they've got the Mamluk Corps. I mean, they've still got warriors. The Guru. Jamal. I am temp tempted to do some wars. But I just think it's such a waste of our resources whilst we're just rushing for a cultural victory that we could be spending those resources on buildings and, at worst, just doing the uh, the projects to get more culture that I just don't think it's worth us um, building military units, basically. Unless somebody does a proper war against us. Oh, there's a shipwreck here. That's cool. Oh, there's a, ship there's a shipwreck right here. Send an archaeologist here. Which will provide culture towards them. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know about that. Okay, so they're, they're basically just C versions of dig sites. So, yeah, we don't need to worry about them, especially. Oh, no, we, oh, no, no you can't have two out in the same city. So, um, I think Knossos doesn't have one anymore. Let's find out. We could just look at the list, but um, I, I'm just going to do it this way instead. Well, until this one. If there is one here already, I will look at the list, but... Um, I don't think we've maxed it out. Or maybe we have, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we've got eight cities. And we've got eight trade routes. So, no, there must be a city. Oh, this one. There we go. No, it is this one that doesn't have one. Uh, we could send one to any of these. But again, I think we're just going to try get some construction going. So, let's just do the trade route to Argus. That's going to give us more production in Knossos. And so is this, building the shipyard. So... Well, we're doing our... Do you know, I, I think I might just automate this scout as well. I think we've scouted everywhere. So, Joe, you know let's just... Oh, well, let's give him a promotion first. This one. And then next turn, we'll just automate him. I'm not really bothered about manually looking everywhere. I think we've found basically everywhere apart from here. And that's obviously Russian territory, so there's not going to be anything there. There could, in theory, be something here. But that's it, basically. Unless there's an island here, I suppose. Go on, then. We'll, we'll check this out, and then we'll just automate him. And uh, see what he uh, see what he gets up to. Egypt has yes, they've only just got to the modern the era. Didn't we get to the atomic era Governments already? Need enemies. If they do not have a real enemy, they will invent one in order to mobilize us. That is that is very true. Sadly, uh, used to declare war on a power that bored your empire. Must have at least two cities. Woman, oh, that's pretty good actually. Allows formation of defensive packs. Allowed to form your three units into an army or armada. Yeah, right. We're not going to use any of those. <laughs> We're not going to do any of those. Uh, we are going to get mass media next, which means we can get Broadway, plus 20% culture in the city, one free civic boost, must be built on a flat area next to a theater square. We've got so many theater squares. We're definitely going to, I think, build this. And then the uh, Cristo Redentor. Tourism output from relics and holy cities is not diminished by other civilization of research the enlightenment civic 100 tourism from seaside resorts across your civilization we're definitely building this um i i want to build both of these basically i think they're just gonna be way too good not to um anyway here what kind of boost can we get for this plus three it's pretty decent is it worth yeah joe i'm gonna do it let's do it let's do it let's just find out if that's a good idea or not um, anyway, what are we going to do with this? What have we got here? Some cattle. So we'll do that, because I think this still gives us culture. It does. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of exploring here. I'd be very surprised if there's anything, but there could be a little island there that no one's found. It'll give us a little bonus, so let's do that. And then, um... Ooh, a great scientist. Albert Einstein. Nah, I don't think there's anything. No, this looks very, um, very empty. Uh, let's get this. How much is a... Oh, we can't buy an archaeologist here. We could buy another settler, but again, I don't think there's anywhere really worth settling at this point. Um, I mean, in theory, we could settle, like, here. Is it worth doing it, though, at this point? I mean, it's, wor it's not, not worth doing, is it? I mean, it's basically just... 
another... Sure. Mm, sure, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I think that will be our last... Um, we can actually just buy the factory. Um, I think we will do it. Yeah, well, it's too late now. I've pressed it, so we are doing it. Uh, let's get this bank, because again, it's going to boost all of these. We're making quite a lot of money now, which is great. And something happened. Oh, we found a... Uh, did we find a goodie hut somewhere? That was the... Uh, the Goody Hut. Oh, Arabia made another settler. They're going to settle, like, down here. They might be. Uh, let's go... I wanted one that had more production, ideally. Uh, okay, we'll just go here. <laughs> we'll just go there. I mean, at least we have this, so he can go here, and we've already got a, a defender for it. That was definitely the Goody Hut sound. Oh, we found it because he found it. Arabia did. Right, let's see if we can get... <laughs> I imagine he's going to come here and grab this, but you never know. There was that one right next to France where they literally did nothing about it, so, you know, it's probably... Uh, it's worth a go. Like I say, we've not... We're not going to find any more, I wouldn't have thought, so... We uh, we can have a look, see what happens. Oh, they, even Rome's got another settler just waiting here. I mean, they could settle up here, I suppose. It looks like they're just keeping it here, though, as, like, uh, in their back pocket, in case they find somewhere. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, this is uh, Athens, built the Renaissance walls. 15, see, 15 turns just sounds like, why would I not build this? Extra population everywhere? Although... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, how, how much of a good a campus can we get? Plus three campus? That's pretty decent. Um, industrial zone, we can get a plus... Plus two? Oh, no, but aren't they building an industrial zone? So the, we get the bonus from theirs. Do you have one? Yes, yes, so we get the bonus from industrial zone. So yeah, there's no point in building one. Well, we'd still get some bonus from it, but the the tier two buildings and above, we, we don't get any bonus from. So, so let's just build a campus. Let's just build it here. Wait, we're getting five food from this? Oh, because there's rice there. No, oh, we probably don't want to delete that. Although, do you know, if we actually... Do you know what? Actually. <laughs> actually. On second thoughts, I'm going to build a builder and then think about it. My default punt the decision a couple of turns. Build a builder and then worry about it. Because look at all this land we haven't improved. Yeah, we should really do that. Um, get some... Uh, we could chop these down, but I think they're giving us... Um, Oh, they're not, actually. I thought they were giving us uh, culture for not having chopped them down, but I don't think that's the case. Um, anyway, um, these guys have finished medieval walls, get a bit of protection here. Let's build this factory. In fact, we could probably just buy it. Didn't it say it wasn't that expensive? No, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that actually expands it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, doesn't that, like, knock it into the um, into the next one? Can I not see what I just built? Oh, I thought it would show us. Um, but yeah, we. I think because it's a, a factory, I think we'll have the six radius bonus thing again. So I think that's pretty good. So I might actually build... Oh no, we were going to go for holy sites. There's like a... Yeah, these two are really good for holy sites. In fact, we have another one that's really good for holy sites. And this one's relatively not good for anything else. Oh, we don't have the gold. We do next to... So I'm just going to build it here. <laughs> it's fine. Um... Just because we can use that piety to buy uh, great people, so... Oh, oh and um, the other things, the um, uh, the if nature reserve the people, I think, paper, isn't it? You're on I think it is. Uh, anyway, yeah, we got the... Uh, we got this, so we're going to build those wonders if we can. Do you like... Uh, we don't care about war weariness, that's literally uh, pointless to us at the moment. Where's the other one gone? I'm sure there was two cards. Do you know what? I should really just read them as they sh as they're shown on the screen. But, uh, oh, this one's gone. Oh, it was uh, a replacement for the amenities one. Oh, is the amenities one just gone? Oh, dear. That one was pretty good. Yeah, that's a, um, that's a little bit annoying. Because that one was actually really good. Um, I guess maybe unit maintenance. Because we're not going to, again, we're not going to be building many units. If we go to war, we can change it to some of these other ones. But I think I'm just going to do this to save the gold. 
I don't even think it'll save us that much, but... No, it saved us 20 gold, so do you know what? It was worth it. I suppose every city's got a uh, defensive unit, so it does add up, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, kind of kind of doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, this finish, so you know, we're just going to have to make our minds up and decide what we're actually going to build. Um, again, I don't know. I don't, don't know. I might just do the industrial zone, because then that can help us build these wonders later on, especially... Oh, actually, no. Can we, can we actually just build one of those wonders we unlocked? Um... Oh, here we go. 37 turns. That just seems so long, though. Or well, Broadway's the same. Plus 20% culture. Can we see which city's got the best culture? Uh, is it this? Um, Athens has... Can this... <laughs> you not, like, narrow this down? I want to see the gold. No? Okay. I guess, guess not. Um, okay, Athens is 76. I think that's going to be by far the best one. 40. Yeah, it is. Do you know let's, let's build it. Let's build, um, the one that gives 20% more. Is it this one? Yeah, let's build this. There's only one place we can build it, so that's where it's going to go. We have got some more envoys, so we should be able to, um, get some of these back. So how many have we got? Two. So we can either get Bandar Brunei back, or... Um, get Mogadishu back. Your trader units are immune to being plundered. I don't, I don't, I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about that too much. Um, this gives us more gold, so do what? We'll do this one for now. Or do it, yeah, we, we want the Suzerain bonus, so let's do that. Because that's just going to, as we've said all these times, it gives us our city-state bonus, an extra 5% for each one, so that just outweighs pretty much everything else, so um, it just makes sense to do that. Uh, let's go with... John, I want to get some more production going, so I guess we'll go here. We'll get this finished. And then we'll see. We might just build the other one here as well. And just go crazy culture in, uh, in Athens. We could probably flight, focus it on that as well and make we'll even more. The there we go, we got flight. So, receive tour tourism on all improvements that give culture. Amount of tourism generated is equivalent to the improvements culture output. I imagine that's boosted us quite a bit. But we'll see. We'll see. Wait, because, yeah, don't all these give us, like, plus one culture? So do they now give us plus one tourism as well? Yes. I think it does. That is crazy if that's the case. Um, it, well, we might need to wait a turn, but can't we see... Oh, we've started to attract people, haven't we? No, they're visitors from these. Why have we got none of these, though? <laughs> that's the only thing... I don't understand why none of these have started moving yet. Is it because ours just isn't that much better than theirs? I, I imagine that's why. I guess it has to be like a crazy amount better to trigger tourists to come to us. Which is going to happen anyway. This is just going to increase it more and more and more. So, um, yeah, flight is done. So let's go with... I kind of feel like getting rid of some of these other ones that we've kind of had. Big Ben uh, doubles current current treasury which is really good if you build up a lot of money it's kind of stupid how good this is um sanitation will give us a lot of housing doesn't it it does which is pretty good so i'm gonna get rid of printing just because it's three turns there's probably something it leads into as well that is good um anyway roads down here and we are actually going to build a builder down here because there's all this uh unimproved land this has finished its industrial zone awesome so let's get the workshop going you are going to come here and found a city. Uh, fa <laughs> Barcelos? Definitely how you pronounce it. And we'll get you going with a um, water mill, maybe? Uh, build a 16. What does more water mill give us? Plus one production, plus one food. Farms gain plus one food as well. Um, so I'm going to build this first. Why not? And then I might just buy a builder, to be honest. You sell too close? Yeah, we, we do what we want. I mean, maybe we, we will annoy them, actually. Maybe they will declare war on us again. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe they won't be too pleased with this. Oh, Arabia founded Aleppo. I'm guessing it's going to be down here somewhere? Yes, it was, right down here. All right, cool. They finished building their um, another builder, so... 
Gonna get some nice improvements going down here. I don't know what to build. Well, do you know what? We know what we're gonna build. We're gonna build an Acropolis, aren't we? Because it just makes sense. Uh, we did build that lumber mill here, but it's also the best tile to build it on, so... That is where it's gonna go. And then we'll get this mine going, and then, uh, some of these other ones as well. We've got another trade... Oh no, this is the trade that was from Argos. No, Argos I think has two trade routes, because it has a harbour and a, um shipyard or something I'm, I'm not sure it's something um anyway we're gonna go again for here for the plus three bonus oh we found another good hit wait what wait, wait go here it's been demonstrated that no <laughs> go here steal it steal it off arabia did they actually pick up this one? Oh, they did they did okay let's try and steal it let's be sneaky um yeah let's get this so we're gonna start building up our relics which is gonna give us a lot of tourism Amazing. Uh, let's go down here, build um, a lumber mill. Oh, yeah, we can get the aerodromes going now. Do we want to do that, though? Or again, do we just want to build... Oh, actually, how's it doing for housing? Amenities 5. Oh, we need some housing. Um, well, we can't build an aqueduct. We can build a neighborhood. I think that gives you housing. It does. It gives you quite a lot of housing if it's in a good place. Um, I might just build it here, though. Just because we've not improved this tile, and it's not that good. The plus four is fine. Yeah, if we can steal that goody hut, if it has something, uh, you know, good in it. Let's see, potentially the last one we're ever going to find. Um, I imagine they're going to steal it, though. War. The printing press... Provides one more diplomatic visit uh, visibility on all of the civilizations. All tourism units from great works of writing are doubled? Oh, hello. That is, um, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, nice. We'll, we'll, uh, take that. Where's Great Works? Here. So, yeah, from writing, because we've got two writings at the moment. So, yeah, we need to get more and more of these. I suppose, yeah, we do only have, only have 36 tourism, so it's not too crazy high, is it, to be honest? Um, let's pick up Steam Power as well, just because it's pretty quick. We finished building the Holy Site here, so, yeah, let's get a Temple going. Oh, do we have enough to buy the, um, yeah, this guy, the naturalist. Now, let's see if there's anywhere we can actually build the nature, uh, the nature reserve thing. I'm pretty sure I've built them before and then never had anywhere to actually place it. So we'll, we'll see how it works out. Uh, no good. I didn't mean to, I didn't want to build a farm. So yes, I want to build a mine. Choose an artifact. An artifact from Bandar Brunei or Mogadishu. Do you know Mogadishu? We've, they've been with us from the start, so let's do it. We've got some theming going. Six uh, tourism, three culture. Does that destroy the unit? Wait, no. Wait. Can you just do all of these with one dude? I thought these were going to be like two uses and they were done or something. Okay, we can go. <laughs> we go nuts. We've got, what, four up here? Five, six, seven, eight... We need places to put them on display, though. Because I don't think we've got that much space for them all. Uh, um, anyway, these guys have finished. I'm actually going to go for, again... I'm going to cop out, guys. Go for a builder. Um, yeah, let's look. Great works. Um, do they go into these? They do. Okay, we need some more archaeological museums, because we're going to have more than six. <laughs> we've got, like, eight just around this one island, so... Uh, when we when we get another choice, we're going to build um, an archaeological one. Let's get a farm going. Right, the naturalist. Have we actually got anywhere we can build this? <laughs> Do I, I'm going to say we probably don't. I don't know if there's a way to look before you build them. I probably should have checked, but I don't think there is. I think I've run into this problem before where it's like... Um, I always forget about the strategy view. It, it looks cool. It looks cool like this. I, I couldn't play it in that, in that view. And again, I know some people like this view being turned on, but it kind of annoys me, so I don't ever have it turned on. Um, if I was playing it prop like properly, properly, I probably would have it turned on. But for this, I don't think so. Can you actually see it in this? I don't think so. No. Um... Yeah, so I don't think we can use this anywhere. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure, doesn't it light up where you can use it? Like, put a grid on the floor? 
I think it puts like a four tile grid in the middle. Um, let's have a look. Naturalist. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Oh, it doesn't tell you, though, how it works. I'm pretty sure it's like a four grid, like, um, like a squ well, kind of like a oblong, basically. Uh, like a grid of four of them together, but I'm pretty sure it lights up if it, in the places you can use it. So we might have just wasted all that, uh, all that stuff, so. Fantastic. <laughs> like I said, I'm pretty sure the last time I played this game, I did the exact same thing. I built one and then I was literally nowhere I could use it. And I was like, great. <laughs> literally pointless. Uh, let's go, um, I guess we'll get this rice. Got some trading posts going. Next turn. Oh, we did get it. Did we actually steal this? We must have, because it said we got 5 XP, but I don't know what it gave us. So I guess it didn't give us anything of use, because I think it, I'm pretty sure it tells you if it gives you something useful. Pretty sure you get a pop-up over here saying you found something, or whatever. Or you get a pop-up, or something happens, I'm sure, um, if you get something decent. Men, their rights, Suffrage! Oh, we've more. got democracy! Amazing. Yeah, this gives us, like, so many more um, cards to unlock. Uh, patronage of great people costs 50% less gold, so we can just buy great people with gold. So, we, yeah, boosting on gold input is going to be good. 30% bonus yields from district projects. So if we do just do some of the culture projects, we get way more. We also get three envoys. Uh, rather than two. So, yeah, we're definitely changing to democracy. Gives us two extra slots, basically, and we're obviously, I think, going to fill them with, well... Do we want to do... No, I think we do. I think we do want to go this. We could wildcard one of them for some extra great people points. Like, this one gives us plus four. So let's put it in there for now. And then, yeah, economic... Basically, any of these that give us culture, we... Ooh, new deal, though. Plus four housing, plus two amenities... Minus eight gold with at least three special. That's pretty good. I know it doesn't give us culture exactly, but it will solve housing and amenity issues. I'm pretty sure we have some of those. Uh, let's have a look. City status. Yeah, amenities. Three out of four, four out of five. Yeah, look at all these displeased and content ones. So if we got that, it basically gives a bunch to these. Housing is all slowed as well. John, we're actually going to do that. Um, it isn't what I thought we'd do, but yeah, I think it just makes sense. That's that plus four housing, and the minus eight gold is obviously going to cost us quite a lot of gold. But it's only ones with three special districts, so it's not all our cities. But I think it's worth it for boosting those cities that it is going to affect. Uh, we could increase, get more science, get more gold. We don't have enough commercial hubs for this to be worth doing, I don't think. Um... Plus four gold and plus one faith from all trade routes. And we have, what, eight trade routes? We have eight out of six? How do we have eight out of six? How did we lose two trade routes? <laughs> oh, it's because our previous one, I think, gave us two trade routes. Or well, plus one culture. John, I think I'm going to pick up this just for the extra gold. Because then we can convert that gold or piety into something else. I'm guessing the next two trade routes to end will just get deleted. Rather than us be, I, I can't imagine it's going to leave us over all this time. Anyway, capitalism we're going to pick up because we probably will do this one, the international trade routes, and then we'll just make all our trade routes international. I think, although professional sports also, ooh, one hundred percent theatre adjustment, uh, adjacency bonus, and stadiums generate an an amen um, <laughs> an amenity even. A stadium gives you plus two, and the uh, the, Ma Maca, uh, the Maracana, even. Plus two amenities in every civilization, uh, every city in your civilization. I mean, this just looks pretty good. It's only four turns as well. I'm going to pick it up. Let's do it. And then we'll have one more turn, and then we will be finishing for today. I'm actually going to build another builder up here, just so we can finish improving all of this. I'm going to just automate you now. Yep, there you go. Do whatever you want. I don't really care. Yeah, I think this guy's literally pointless. <laughs> um, I mean, we, I kind of feel like just deleting it, but also I guess if we capture somewhere, if we do any wars or for some reason somebody gives us a city or something, 
Like, I guess we can use it. So, I'm surprised, like, down here we can't do it. Must be on a, on a valid National Park tile. Like, there just isn't any. Part of me thinks it, that was a DLC feature, and that's why it doesn't show. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the unit wouldn't be... Uh, you couldn't make the unit if it was, but... There we go, we got another um, artifact. Heracles. Oh, from ourselves? Okay. <laughs> oh, we made a... Oh, nice. Sweet looking longsword. So theming's two out of three. Oh, so we need to fill these up then. We can switch them. Okay. Because, yeah, the theming doubles the bonus, I think. Yeah, it does. So we can get some crazy good bonuses by doing the theming here. So we've got two. We've got a spear and we've got a sword. And then we'll just keep doing it. So I don't think we'll build another archaeologist just because... Well, I suppose it speeds it up, doesn't it? We might do. We might build another one. But we're going to pick up another artifact here. Awesome. Um, and then, yeah, we'll uh, we'll improve uh, these. Oh, we got this uh, knight here still as well. Yes, yeah, so they finished the neighborhood. Can they get upgraded? No, you just build more neighborhoods. The Renaissance Walls give us three tourism, don't they? Sure, I'm going to build. <laughs> I know it's only three tourism, but it's not too bad. It's like, what, 5% of all the tourism we already have. So it's not the worst thing building. Uh, you've built the harbour, you've got the campus. You've got the... Uh, this was the entertainment one, wasn't it? No, that's the commercial one. I wonder whether to do an entertainment one and then have it link these two. Or do we do, or do, we do an industrial zone and do the same thing? Although, no, this one would be better for industrial. No, maybe... What's the preserve give us? Three housing, culture bombs. Oh, based on appeal and then also gives you plus one housing. Do we just build a holy site and then just, again, just build up um, faith so we can buy great people? Oh, we can actually buy some of these. Um, I mean, we're going to win the race. Oh, no, we're actually behind Egypt. Although we're way outstripping them. Oh, let's buy this. Uh, 315 towards wonder production. Yes. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, this one is the Great Admiral. I couldn't care less about Great Admirals. And the rest we, we don't have enough for. Um... Yeah, this was the, um, I don't know, maybe entertainment. Sure, entertainment, because I think this is where we build the stadiums and stuff that will give us more culture as well. So uh, let's just, it doesn't matter because it can't overlap with Athens because they've already got one. So um, yeah, we might as well just build it here and we'll definitely hit these two. Get this going. Oh, look, they kind of like us now. Oh, no, no, he's he's saying we're rubbish <laughs> and that our, uh, <laughs> that our engineers should go work for them. I don't think so, buddy. Uh, we got another artifact. We got, oh, some nice plate mail. Sweet. So, yeah, this is building up a little bit now for us. Oh, I said that was going to be the end of this um, this episode. I guess after the next uh, next turn we will. Oh, this is nearly finished as well. Another uh, another uh, worker up there coming. Got a... Um, oh, yeah, we've got the Great Engineer. Yeah, so this was uh, Broadway, wasn't it? Yeah, so let's uh, use this on Broadway. And then it's going to be finished in 19 turns instead, so sweet. Oh, wait, no, has, does it have two charges? Oh, nice. That's going to cut it down a bunch more as well. Uh, we can build the uh, Cathedral here. Oh, we can actually put religious artwork in here as well. Oh, so it actually helps us in other ways, because we could put um, art in here as well, which I didn't think of. Interesting. Um, oh, we haven't got an Acropolis. Oh, let's get this going. Oh, I don't really want to use it on here. Is this hills? It is, but... Oh, no, we can build it here. Is that what that means? Does that mean if we got it here, we can build on here? Oh, probably because it's hills, yeah. So I'm going to do it here because it's adjacent to our town center, so that's why it's getting additional bonuses. And then we'll get this. There's no trade routes. <laughs> you can't trade with anyone. You can't even trade with any of these guys. How How is that true? Anyway, we'll send them to the new place. And then we can do it. Got some trading posts going. I am doing one more turn because I want to um, use that great person on on, uh, on here. Oh, you can't trade with anyone either? Oh, we can claim a great person? I mean, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> but there's no point passing. 
because they're all the same, I think. Pretty sure they're all the same. Yeah. Yeah, they are. So there's literally no point. Uh, there's no point passing on it because it basically makes no difference. Um, anyway, let's go for... Well, John, I'm kind of tempted... From this city? Nah, it's not worth it then. Uh, let's go for... What does this give us? District based project that gives culture every turn a small amount of points. So I'm almost tempted to just switch to that and then just leave this place running on it rather than building anything else. Although the whole. Try, I'm tempted to do it. Do you know what? We'll do the medieval walls. We'll do the Renaissance walls because they give culture and uh, tourism as well. And then I think for this one, we're literally just going to keep it looped on that other one because there's nothing else really worth building there that's going to give us any nice bonuses anyway. Um, John, I'm actually going to get this these ones to build the Angkor Wat, I think. 21 turns. Maybe? Or do you know? Does a harbour helpers gives us way more gold, which we can we can, which we can buy great people with? John, actually, I'm going to do that. Plus two. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. I really don't want to use you. <laughs> don't stand here next to the other one you can just chill out there I'm going to use this so this has 18 turns left it's got 11 turns left now can we actually does it make a difference if we switch this oh, only one now we won't do that then we might tell it to focus on culture afterwards though but anyway that is where we're going to leave it for today hope you've enjoyed it as always hit that like button if you have subscribe if you're new here I play grand strategy historical strategy games all that good stuff I cover dev diaries news uh, discussion videos, you know what to do. But we'll leave it there for today. I'll see you in the next one.